veins. The life of God runs in your vein. This is why sickness cannot ravage your body. I'm talking to you from experience. When you understand this thing, when you understand this thing, see, let me tell you something. You know, sometimes people will tell you, hey, but these things you are saying, it sounds so simple, but uh, it's not always like that. You know, me, I've been a Christian for more than 100 years now. Because of that, all these things you are saying, I never experienced it. My brother, that is your own experience. Your, your experience cannot nullify the word of God. What he has said, he has said. It's just that you didn't operate on it well. For some of us, we have been operating on it and we have been seeing results. Hallelujah. I can tell you categorically, for more than 20 years of my life, I've not been to the hospital, neither have I taken medication or evil have a... See, it's not, it's not, I'm not bragging about it. I'm just telling you that this thing work. One day, I was told that you can live in divine health. I doubted it. How can you say someone live? He doesn't fall sick. No, how is it possible? But when I came to understand... When the Bible said your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Do you know what that means? Can God live with sickness? Can God live in the same house with sickness? If your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. How can sickness go a bit with God on your inside? Is that possible? See, let me tell you. The earlier you start believing this thing, the better for you. Because some of us, we have been enjoying them all our life. Praise the Lord. The money I will use to go out do medical bill, I will use them to sponsor the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are better things to use your finances for. Not for sickness, not for drugs. I'm not against medication, I'm not against drugs. Are you getting me? It is God who gives knowledge and wisdom for medicine. Are you getting me? Don't get me wrong. I believe in it and I trust them. Are you getting me? And I encourage them. If you don't have faith, please go to the hospital. Are you listening to me? If you don't have faith... They don't say, oh, pastor said that we should not take, no, I didn't say you should not take medication. I say, at your feet. Are you listening to me? That's where it begin. I remember when I was learning this thing, it started little by little. Until I've been able to conquer this thing. See, the Bible says the greater one lives on your inside. It's greater than any virus. It's greater than any infection. It's greater than any pain. The greater one lives on your inside. He said, if the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead lives in you, he said, that same spirit will what? Invigorate your mortal bodies. He will give life. He will fertilize. Every dead hunger, he will bring it to life. That same spirit. This is what many don't understand. greater world lives on your inside. You can change any hopeless situation. You can change anything in your life. The power is in you. He said anything is possible to him that believe. He said if you have faith even as a little as a grain of mustard say. He said if you say to this mountain be thou removed to yonder place. He said it shall happen. He said this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out devils. Don't you understand? There is something on your inside. Why would Jesus tell you that if you take in any deadly thing, shall not hurt you. Why? Why will he tell us that? If it is not true. If it is not true, why will he tell us that? Just because your experience is opposite of what the word says, it does not nullify it. It does not cancel what the Lord has said. The word of God is final and absolute. Nothing can change it. Praise the Lord. Say, I'm blessed. Say, I'm blessed. Say, like someone that is blessed, my friend. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.